Captain Stanley and Billy ducked behind some bushes as Irving and Oliver left Sarah Crawford's house. Where are they going? Billy asked. My guess is to get some things to fix the house. The captain peeked through the bushes and watched the men ride by. They're heading back to town. He looked at Billy. Now, remember what you're supposed to do? Tell Flint and Lacey what you want them to do while you keep Mrs. Crawford busy. Aye, lad. Come on, let's go. Captain Stanley ducked back out of the foliage and onto the trail they'd been traversing. It ran parallel to the road, and he used it often while hunting rabbits and sea beasts. Captain Stanley, Billy asked as they set off, what if this doesn't work? Won't Flint and Lacey be disappointed? He stopped and turned to the boy. Aye, which is why we must make sure it works. That poor widow needs a husband, and Flint and Lacey need a father. You want them to have one, don't you? Oh, sure, Billy said. It's just that this Mr. Darling isn't like the others. He scowled. He's stuffy. The captain's hands went to his hips. Aye, that he is. Well, there's no help for it. Can we unstuff him? The captain laughed. <laughs> if you can figure out how to do that, lad, then be my guest. He continued down the trail, Billy following. Once they found a break in the underbrush, they approached the widow Crawford's house from up the road. He didn't want too many folks knowing he'd made the trail years ago, and so far only the children did. It was one of the ways they cut to the apple orchards from the road into town. Captain Stanley built many such trails, some everyone knew about. He knocked on the front door and waited, Billy beside him. When the door opened, he removed his cap and smiled. Good afternoon, Sarah. Captain, what are you doing here? She opened the door wide to let them in. The captain stepped through, Billy on his heels. I've brought you this. I seem to have a surplus of flour and sugar this month and thought you might like some. He held up a sack. A hand went to her chest. <gasps> Bless you, Captain. I could use both. She smiled. The children and I were about to make cookies. Oh, he said with raised eyebrows. He looked at Billy. Looks like we came at the right time, lad. <laughs>